Ang Adlao Sa Tanan. Today's video, we're going to take you for an up close and personal of this face lifted 2021 Honda CRV 1.6V that is mated to a 9 speed automatic gearbox. And for this video, I'm going to take this Honda CRV V for a startup and a full walk around review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So, what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy of this review. Close doors, I'm a fool for you A big thanks and shout out to Honda Cars Iloilo for allowing me to review their brand new units. For more information, see the description box below. So here's the key. Let's go ahead and get started. The Honda CRV gets an electric assisted rack and pinion power steering system. For the V variant, it's all made up with a three spoke polyurethane steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2, piano black accents at the bottom spokes, and mounted controls are found at the left and right spokes of the wheel, accentuated with satin silver highlights. Under a 1.6 liter turbocharged diesel engine, all variants of the CRV except the 2.0 liter gasoline S variant is a 9 speed automatic gearbox which is controlled by the electronic gear selector buttons instead of a typical gear lever. This car is featured with a sport sequential manual shifting via the plus and minus on the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel spokes from left to right. A reverse camera with active guidelines is a standard feature for the Honda CRV 1.6V. The Honda CRV 1.6V is powered by a 1.6 liter dual overhead cam, 16 valves, and a turbocharged inline four cylinder diesel engine with variable geometry turbocharger and ID Tech technology. It generates 118 horsepower at 4,000 RPM and 300 Newton meters of torque at 2,000 RPM. Fuel tank size is 57 liters of diesel fuel with an emission rating of Euro 4. A 9-speed automatic gearbox is the sole transmission for this diesel engine and the drivetrain of the CRV is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Fuel economy rating for this car is at 11 km per liter in the city and 18 km per liter on the highway. With its fuel economy rating, this Honda CRV with a diesel engine is more frugal than the gasoline ones. Ayus ka ayu! Comfortable runabout vehicle or better known as CRV. It is Honda's compact crossover SUV which has been around for the past two decades and this is Honda's answer to its rival Toyota RAV4 during that time. Through the years, the CRV has evolved from generation to generation and it now becomes bigger, better, and more sophisticated resulting in this one what we see here. This is the fifth generation Honda CRV, which was launched way back in August of 2017 in our shores and since it was facelift way back October last year, together with the all new city for the 2021 model year, Honda gives a few new tweaks for the CRV to make it more improved than before. 
what we have here is the budget meal variant of the CRV, the 1.6V, and in this video, we will talk about the benefits of why we choose this one rather than the higher trims and its competition. With a balance of smart technology, premium features, and basic ergonomics that is paired in a frugal diesel engine, do you think that the Honda CRV 1.6V is a great value for money? That's all we need to find out. Let's start first with the improvements of the new CRV V variant compared to the previous one. It all started with a newer front fascia of the car which is now more aggressive, sporty, and mature compared to the old one. And the lower lip of the car reminds me of the Dracula's teeth. Whoa. <laughs> At the back, there are subtle changes including the rear bumper as well as these LED rear lights, which are now smoked to give a dark finish effect and that's all the changes that you see here in this car. On the other hand, everything is still the same as the previous one, including its bold and stylish exterior silhouette and a class-leading interior with a premium touch. Feature-wise, the CRV gets the same advancements like the color TFT display instrument gauge, electronic parking brake with auto hold function, and all, as well as your basic ergonomics like your manual seats, basic head unit, and many more. On its downside, the CRV gets a little lack of space at the back even the last row, which I'm very concerned of in this category. But it's pretty much okay in this car of its size. But what I really like about in this car is the wide opening of the rear doors, which it opens at exactly 90 degree angle, and it is absolutely stunning. Wow! Affordability wise, the CRV, in my honest opinion, is not the most affordable compact SUV in the market. But if you want a car like SUV with 7 seats and diesel engine, and having a good amount of budget that you can afford, I think this Honda CRV is for you. If not, maybe you should go for a better one like a truck based SUV like the Toyota Fortuner, the Ford Everest, and the Nissan Terra, or an MPV like crossover like the Cherty Go 8, the Maxus G50, and the Geely Okavango. If the S and the SX variants are not your cup of tea, then the CRV 1.6V variant is a great choice for those who want a balanced features between basic ergonomics and advanced technology. But what is the most important thing about this car is it does offer a diesel engine. It may not be the most affordable car in the line, but I think this one is worth it on your buck. Exterior features for the facelift Honda CRV 1.6V are halogen projector headlights with LED daytime running lights, LED fog lights, LED rear lights, black accent front grille with chrome highlights, variable intermittent wipers front and rear, mud guards, indicators in the body colored side mirrors, body color door handles, silver roof rails, door lower garnish with chrome accents, silver painted bumper skid garnish, shark's fin antenna, rear spoiler with LED third brake light, and rear windshield defroster. The facelift Honda CRV 1.6V gets the same 17 inch 5 spoke alley rims from the previous model. These rims are wrapped in 235-65 R17 tires. It gets ventilated disc brakes in front and solid disc brakes at the back. For the suspension, the front gets McPherson struts and multi-links for the rear. Speaker, bottle holder, storage, window controls, all four windows in this car are powered, while the driver's side window gets a fully automatic function in both directions. Window lock, center locking, window controls, a button to turn off or on your vehicle stability assist, little storage right, right here, fuel door release, bonnet release. The driver's seat on this car gets a fully manual adjustment. Get your seat back, height adjuster, and your sliding position controls right there. CRV floor mats. You have the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side. However, it loses out on the height adjuster. All right, so let's start it up with the door closed. Adjustable center armrest, and underneath you have a massive amount of size storage area. You have also a storage tray right here, which is removable as well. Adjustable and removable. 
you can expose a lot of storage right here with your 12 volt power outlet that has a maximum of uh, 180 watts of power right there two cup holders more storage USB port that has a 1.0 ampere auxiliary integration econ mode Got your single zone automatic climb control system with all your controls located right here. It is quite simple to use. Fan speed. Temperature. Automatic, on and off. Recirculation, front and rear defrost, different modes. AC or air conditioning. And a button to turn off or on your rear air conditioning system at the back. The CRV 1.6V gets a standard feature of Honda's integrated multimedia head unit featuring 5-inch colored screen display, various media connectivity settings, and 4 speakers for the sound system. The stock sound system of this Honda CRV V works absolutely fantastic. It's very nice. Currently, you are in a Bluetooth audio streaming with your current song title information, album artist, device name. To go to your home menu, hit this button. There are different selections, including your, oh, including your uh, settings. Got your Bluetooth setup, display adjustment, rear camera, display, wallpaper, color theme, language, clock format, license, and all that kinds of stuff. Your Bluetooth, and that's it. Here's your mute button, telephone button. Very simple. Adjustments of your brightness. Radio, media, volume and power knob. Seat tracks, six customizable stations. I showed before, go back and use your uh, uh, selections and enter button, uh, knob, and that's it. Very simple. Simple as ABC. Hazard switch flanked with two air vents. Speaker right there. Your light and indicator controls. Up, down, left, right, and your enter button and your uh, button to active to go through your multi information display right within the instrument gauge. The rest is your volume controls and your unhook and offhook buttons for your Bluetooth telephone menu. On the right side is your cruise control, wiper controls, and the steering wheel. And this car gets a manual tilt and telescopic adjusting using this lever right down here. Central locking, power folding side mirrors,
grip handle on the ceiling for the driver's side, driver's side sun visor with a vanity mirror, interior lights, LED, sunglass holder, and a manual dimming rear view mirror. Oh. Okay. Yeah, manual dimming rear view mirror. Front passenger side sun visor with a vanity mirror. Grip handle on the ceiling for the front passenger side. Slow opening, uh, decent size amount of glove box I would say. Alright, so that's it for this one. We can turn it off right now and continue with the rest of our review. Speaker, storages in the bottle holder, window control. To gain access at the last row seat, first pull the sever to fold the seat back in the middle row, and then there is a lever right here to tumble the whole seat forward. Like so. Good at kayo no. I know you're shocked because the rear doors of the CRV open extremely wide at exactly 90 degrees, and therefore it is much easier to have access upon entry and exit even when you go to the last row. As I jumped in into the second row seats, I think this car offers a decent amount of space. I'm 5 foot 9 tall and I do get a good amount of legroom and headroom and therefore there is no big issue in this kind of class. Secondly, the seats of the CRV are padded in leather so I think these seats offer you a nice and comfortable ride. Therefore, pasadong pasado siya. You are able to move the position of the middle row seats by using the lever underneath of it in order to give space whether in the second row or third row depending on how much allowance that you want to give. Also, you can recline the seat back in the second row using the same strap as you fold down the second row seats. You have storage pockets on either of the two front seat backs and there are two air vents in the middle. On top, you have grip handles on the ceiling for both sides at the rear, however on the left side one has a coat hook and in the middle is your two cabin reading lights. Lastly, you have center armrest with two cup holders which my Mounted Dew bottle fits exactly just right. Climbing at the third row is quite easy thanks to the very wide opening doors and good allowance of space as the second row seats tumbles forward. However, there is one big problem for those adults like myself who are 5 foot 9 tall or higher. As I returned the second row seats in place and it was set in the furthest back position, obviously I don't have enough space in the last row. Legroom is zero for me but still I do have a little space in terms of headroom. Therefore, the last row seats of the CRV are highly recommended for children and shorter individuals. In my case, I'll ask the person in front of me to move the middle row seat a little bit forward to have some extra allowance of space. Toys found at the last row are your bottle holders on both sides and four air vents on top with a fan speed control.
boot space of the 7-seater CRV when all the rear seats are in place measures 150 liters. That, my friend, is not actually enough to fit all of your things there. But when you fold the third row seats, this will create 472 liters and that is the perfect size for this one to load your stuff in. Here's the thing, once all the rear seats are folded, boot capacity is measured by 900, again, 967 liters to the max. Ayos di ba Additionally, there is a fake floor where you can adjust the level of its height. Another trick that is coming from Kuya Reagan of Reagan's Rides that in order to easily access the spare tire is to remove all of those fake floors and there is a yellow strap underneath at the back to lift the whole third row seats up. Then there is a hook that you can attach it to the metal rod onto your right headrest in the second row. Therefore, you are now greeted with a full-size spare tire together with your toolkit and jack. Also, you can have a flat bottom boot that many people didn't know about. To do this, get the first fake floor and place it near the end and then get another fake floor and place it all the way through. Therefore, you can have a flat boot on your 7-seater CRV. <laughs> to the left of your boot is your illuminating light. In terms of safety, the Honda CRV 1.6V gets two airbags and lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability assist, agile handling assist, hill start assist, driver attention monitor, emergency stop signal, tire pressure monitoring system, walk away auto lock, ELR seat belts in all seats, front seat belt reminder, child safety lock, isofix child seats and tether anchors for the rear seats, and alarm system with immobilizer. Thank you for tuning in of the startup and a full walk around review of this 2021 Honda CRV 1.6 V that is mated to a 9 speed automatic gearbox. I hope you like this video, and if you do, make sure you hit thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I'll see you next time with for more latest videos on YouTube. God bless you, more power, I love you all, and mabuhay. Yeah. Makikita mo ako sa kalsada with the homies Kulang kami kasi yung iba hanap ng police Pilipinas hustler, peso 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 Mga Pinay ko magkakilala beso beso Sabi niya ako ikoy alam ko 